This episode was filmed merely hours before Darkside Phil decided to do a video showing off his wife, Cat, proving to everyone that the trolls were right again. <laughs> that cat has expanded exponentially. I think she looks very healthy. Enjoy this segment from this horrible, hateful, transphobic, germophobic, heterophobic, homophobic live show. Good night and goodbye. Go f*** yourself. I got to give it to Dylan Mulvaney. I'm experiencing trans joy, but um, Elliot Page always makes me depressed as f***. No, and we'll leave Dylan here for we'll now to help in. me. There we go. Let's put him in here. Get this guy in here. Hello, hello. Look who it is. It's Gary Busey. Gary Busey in the building. What's Welcome, up, Mike. For those who don't know, this is the guy that's um, uh, interviewing DSP. Interviewing, right. documenting, telling the life story, the life. And I, I wanted to get you a part of it. Ah, me. Huh? I get a, a comments all the time. Gundam, Gundam, get Gundam. You got to get him. And then some people say, don't get him because you're, you're, you're the wrong type of detractor. Is, well, is, I wouldn't say I'm a detractor. I'm just like a guy who occasionally pays attention, like a neighbor, you know? Okay. And I look over the fence and this son of a bitch, you know, he's out there and he's burning trees illegally. And I'm like, you can't do that, Phil. He and he's like, he burned a tree? No, but we're like, this is a, a fantasy right now. Phil would oh. have to go outside to burn trees. Come on, Mike, keep up. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Um, so yeah, no, I needed to get you interviewed but here we are we're, we're live is this is this streaming live uh yes we are live we're large and in charge i'm accompanied by my date for the new year dylan mulvaney very beautiful woman uh yes absolutely gorgeous absolutely so um what are we talking we're talking about dsp what do i need oh, yeah. to know what do you want to see in this dsp documentary we we are rolling forward mike i'm not gonna lie to you i'm a genuine guy I don't give two solid fucks what happens in this documentary. Wonderful. <laughs> you know, that's where I stand as a detractor. But, uh, you know, I, I don't care that much about Phil. Like, I pay attention. I have laughs. But other than that, you know, I just I just get some giggles from the guy. I already know everything he's going to say and do because I paid enough attention to him. You're never going to get the full story on Phil. But I guess that's the whole point. Now, my real question is. Yes. Have you been in his house? I've been inside his house. He's been in the snort fort. Now this I've is breaking the snort news. Fort. I went to dinner with him and his wife. It was a great dinner. Okay, and Mike. I hate to interrupt they, you, Mike. They even drove me to dinner because I, I didn't get a rental car in the city. I Ubered. They drove me. It was a nice night. Okay. Can we you sat confirm on his for couch. We all sat on his couch. We had a good conversation. We talked through things. Uh, I can't complain. Okay, listen, let's get real here. Um, what does Cat look like anymore? We don't know for sure. Uh, I, I didn't know what she used to look like. So okay, you know, okay. I, I met her there for the first time. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, I, I think she's she's great. She's a, a beautiful woman. And, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't have anything to, to comment yeah. in terms of how she okay. used to look or how she looks now. Okay, well, is she a biggin? A, a, a biggin? Yes, that's the nice way of putting it. Oh, like like big or small? I don't know. I, I you know I, I I wouldn't be. I I can't comment. Okay, in relation okay. to that, that that's not the nature of what what I was looking for. Is she built like Fiona from Shrek or um, Kelly Clarkson? I I can't. You know, I can't comment on that. You know, I think you'll have to wait and see in the documentary <laughs> or ask Phil. Maybe he will answer that. Oh, please. But, you uh, know, me and Phil are at war. You guys are at war. What are you at war about? What I don't know. Uh, Dark Side Phil said that I am, and I quote, an ugly, what was it, ugly pervert? Yes, uh, ugly pervert. Are you an ugly pervert? Well, yes, but you know. Really? Wow. <laughs> I don't think you're probably not ugly. I feel like you you're a good looking guy. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, I'm a pretty sexy guy. So how did you. it all start with you and Phil? What was the first thing you found in like in Phil that had you feel any type of way? Now you it seems like you don't get it. Seems like you don't get it. But when did when did it all start? 
You know, it all started on May 1st when Dark Side Phil was whacking off on stream, and I laughed at that for a solid few weeks. And I remember my living girlfriend would come in, and she'd see me laughing at Phil having a wank, and she, because she's a Latin chick, she'd go, what the fuck are you watching this fat fucking loser for? He can't even jerk off well. He doesn't even look like he's having a good time. And I'm sitting there like, look at him. He's fucking into it. His head's back like, oh, uh, uh, uh. it was it was great. That was probably the best thing Phil's ever done. Then after that, I paid attention to all of his lies and bullshit. And if you paid enough attention to Phil, he he'll tell on himself. What, what do you, I hear this a lot. He lies. Oh, God. What, you sum up, what are the big three lies? What are the top three lies? Yeah, you know, top three, that means I'd have to pay enough attention to remember, but I've been drinking and smoking weed. One, uh, what, what's, I, the big, what's the big DSP line? I remember him like saying he didn't have money to marry Kat, and he wasn't right. going to do it, and he needed money to like go see his parents or some shit, but then he flew out and married Kat there. I remember that one. Uh, he did bullshit about having a girlfriend for a hot minute. Okay. Uh, why do I look upset? This avatar really picks me up odd. Uh, he had a girlfriend for a hot minute, but he didn't tell anybody. It was all behind the scenes bullshit. He's like, I need money or else I'll lose my house. And you got to understand, guys, it's really important. But he was using the cash to fly her back and forth for cross country. There's like tons of stuff if you really look into it. And if you really want to go down that rabbit hole, I mean, I'm just scratching the surface. Yeah. Okay. So, so some, some things you're claiming here are lies. Claiming? Hell, this video's to back it up. Okay, I'll I'll check it out. I'm looking. I'm trying. I'm exploring. I'm, I'm, I'm not the type through. of guy to like throw shit around that ain't true. Like some people go, Phil's a pedophile. I don't have any proof, so I'm not going to make that sort of claim. Yeah, but I will say he's done some suspect things. Yeah. Oh, there was a time he said he was his chat. He was doing some stream, and they're like, Phil, do you have a cat? And Dark Side Phil looked dead in that camera like this, and he's like. I don't have a cat. I can't afford a cat, you fucking idiot. And then you find out later on, he does a reveal stream. Yeah. And after he got two grand, he reveals he had a cat for a year. And chat was like, Phil, we said you had a cat. And then Phil says, no, you thought I had a new cat. I've had Jasper for a year. And it's like, God damn, bro. What the fuck, my dude? Yeah. He's a, he's a wild animal. I love him. Phil is great. He just... Do you have anything positive to say about Dark Side Pill? You know, he's what provided what is, me. Yeah, go ahead. He's provided me with entertainment over the years, just watching him fuck up all over the you place. Can't it's be like that mad at the guy. If he's making you, he sounds like he makes your life a little better. Oh, well, let's not take it that way. I'll I just mean, say, like, if you watch, bro, if you watch 90 Day Fiance, you don't walk away like, oh, yeah, I feel better about my life. He just, yeah. it's like mindless content. Sure. If Phil disappeared tomorrow, it would be like one less thing I paid attention to. And I can't say I'm mad at him or hate him, even though he clearly dislikes me. I feel he's a national treasure. He's the gout crystal on the toes of the American dream. Would you, like, do you, you, would you call him a lol cow? Do you consider Dark Side Phil a lol cow? I guess so. I mean, if you really think about it, uh, I'd say he's better than Christian. I've argued with people many times. People are like, oh, Christian, Christian. No. The greatest locale is Phil because he's the, he's the king of the he is the bigger, better than Boogie 2988. Oh, yeah, Boogie, come on. Yeah, Boogie, like compared to Phil, Boogie's killing it. Boogie goes outside, he goes on trips, he gets sure. drunk, he fucks hookers. Boogie was living a, a rock star life. Boogie made chicks suck his dick, they had to climb under his belly fat to get it. Yeah. You know, more power to him, dark yeah. side Phil. He barely leaves his house. Yeah. Um, what advice? Did, what hmm? what advice you have to Phil? What should Phil do? I mean, you got keep doing what you're doing, Phil. Don't yeah, stop. No change. <laughs> no change. No change. Nothing. You're a genius. Really? Don't listen to the haters, Phil. <laughs> you make the greatest content ever. Everything you do is meaningful. <laughs> Look at Mike. He loves hanging out with Phil. He's like, we had a lovely dinner. Cat was there, but I didn't really see her. <laughs> no, I saw her. I just have no, I just have nothing to comment on. I, I cannot confirm or deny if Cat ate an entire banquet by herself, but the night was an absolute treasure. 
She didn't eat an entire banquet. I, I, I can confirm she did not do that. Ah! Fuck, if I knew I could have done this, I would have done it before. I'm so stupid. I wish we could get Mike back in here. This is a blurry photo of supposedly, allegedly, Cat. Can the chat see this? I can see it. <laughs> they can see it. <laughs> they could make it out. The amorphous blob in the middle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's well, not be too rough I, here. I, 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 I have to be nice to Phil just to stay in the documentary. I meant the picture, <laughs> not the subject. Man, I was dreaming, but I should have been with you instead. Wake me up. treasure she didn't eat an entire banquet I, I i can confirm she did not do that you are uh definitely playing like the the center of the field you're doing a great job because listen, if bill scared. thinks for a minute that you have turned against him he will cut you to pieces listen i'm not gonna i don't i don't turn against anybody no i'm saying okay. phil does no I, uh well yeah i mean i listen Phil's Phil's got his strengths. He's got his weaknesses, just like just any of us. Oh yeah, totally. You know, and uh, um, the mm -hmm. thing is, though, I think I I wanted to get you. I got to get you interviewed. Everyone's getting interviewed. And I was all like, right. I, we got Review Tech USA. We got Keemstar. We got all. You know, I, I can name the list. You got Jaha. Uh, we've got Jaha. Okay. We've Does, got dude. Got, you should. I was I gonna have. say this. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually, I, I, I'm not gonna leak it, but I've got some really interesting people. Okay, don't at worry. Listen, you can tell us. You can tell us. Um, that the stream will go down after this, so you can tell us now. Don't worry, it's going down because if I leave it up, I'm gonna totally get banned. Okay. Uh, we might have some employees of WWE champions, uh, developers, and in fact, people that built the game. Oh, um, you know, and, 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 and managed the game interviewed talking about the game. So we have all types of access, all types of interviews, everyone that is, uh, we have fans, we have detractors, we have Phil himself. Um, you know, so you're such a crucial component. I mean, you type in dark side, Phil, you sort by high view count. You can't uh, go three videos without seeing you. And then again and again, now you don't show your face. But we, this is create. this is, we can get creative, you know, we can get creative. I would like to use the avatar to further promote myself and make more money. I'm not going to lie to you, Mike. Let's make you some money, dude. You, you I'm can, an unscrupulous bastard. Yeah, I just need the good takes. I need your hot takes in the film, you know. So I'll sh I show up, boom, boom, boom. We can, we can make the avatar, whatever. We can, you know, bring it to life. I know I got some animation skills. Oh, wow. Cool. So it can be cool, but I might see your face in real life. There's a possibility you might be blessed with my handsome chiseled jawline. I, 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 I might, I might be, I know I won't take any pictures of you. I won't leak your face. I won't do a face reveal. I'll sign a document promising that. But, um, in fact, um, I think, uh, it would be great to have you in the film. I look like uh, your typical Native American extra in a Johnny Depp music video. Let's look what that looks like. Johnny Depp. No, he doesn't have one of those. Anyway, I got to ask this. What's Phil's house like? What's in there? What did you see? What did you smell? Did you encounter the broken um, garbage disposal? Phil's house is, I can sum it up in one word. Unbelievable. And you're not going to believe. No, I'm just kind of fucking with you. No, you're, I mean, you're, listen, we're showing the house in the film. Okay. So you're going to see the whole house. And now I got to ask, what are DSP's demands? Because he did say something about he has absolute creative control or some shit. Is that true? Well, I don't think he said that. He doesn't have absolute creative control. I mean, listen, every collaboration is a discussion, right? I mean, even if you had certain things. So, you know, we had a reasonable discussion. Uh, I think that my background is in, I make commercials for all types of businesses and things. And I've worked with companies that are way crazier than, uh, 
you know, people are claiming DSP is in terms of, you know, things. But all the things were pretty pretty reasonable. Obviously, I feel like he's been doxxed a lot or, you know, attacked. Oh, okay, the dox thing. Okay, I'm going to have to be real with you. DSP doxed himself here. Okay. God damn it. I hate that okay. I know all this lore. Okay. Back in the day, DSP was giving out business cards for DSP Gaming. You could probably find it on Google, access to DSP business cards. And it literally had his address, his name, his email. And at first I thought, because I'm not that deep into the uh, snort fort or whatever the fuck, the vortex, even though I kind of, I'm falling in it because obviously yeah, I know this. Farms, you a Kiwi Farms guy? Hell no. Okay. But big ups to Kiwi Farms. I posted in there. I got a lot of emails, people reaching out to me. But the point being, he put out that card and he doxed himself. And then he ran around and said, the trolls doxed me. And then someone else goes, no, Phil, you doxed yourself. Then they put up the business card and I'm like, holy fuck. So at first I thought like maybe someone made this up. Then I looked deeper and found out it was true. The dude doxed himself, but he sits there and makes it sound like, you know, other people doxed him. And another front, like the side scrollers interview, fuck me. We're already doing this. Like we're in the fucking documentary, yeah. but the side scroller interview DSP for the longest time after Moist critical did a five second roast on him was yeah. like, Oh, I need to be interviewed. I need, I wish my hands worked. I need people to see my side of the story, blah, blah, blah. He finally gets interviewed by Craig and, you know, Phil is all hyped about it. He does the interview. He's happy with it for like a day. Then the side scrollers do a thing the next day and he gets upset and pissed off. We're not going into that because nobody's got a hundred thousand years for me to talk about motherfucking dark side Phil. Yeah. But now if you listen to him talk about the narrative, he sits there and goes, I was forced to do the interview. People twisted my arm and made me do it. And I'm sitting here like, bro, there's literally a video of you saying that you're exonerating yourself by doing this interview. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the type of guy Phil is. Like, reality is always just constant and changing with this guy. And it always makes him seem like he's never done anything wrong and everything correct. And I got to say, I wish I had a fraction of his self-delusion so I could feel better about myself. But until then, I'm going to keep hanging from my pull-up bar and doing these ab crunches until I get the eight pack. Well, I think you should feel great about yourself. Um, Listen, Mike, I'm a real man. You don't have to give me that sort of feel goodery bullshit. No, you built a good you built a good channel. Listen, Mike, I'm fighting with YouTube now. They're saying I'm promoting hookers on my channel. Hookers? Why yes. Why do you say that? Uh, oh, I don't know. Probably because I upset the trans community. But I've got Dylan here to show my allegiance yeah, looks like to this pretty... gorgeous creature. I'm so fucking banned. <laughs> so here's the thing. Hit me. I'll probably be filming with Phil in a few months. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do the interviews soon thereafter. OK, because Phil's going to say I'm giving a Phil a platform to, to share his life, to share who he is, to document the real raw reality of Dark Side Phil. And what we also want to do is get the other side of the story. Right. People that are going to be able to give the other take. So that that's got to be you. So I'm, I'm making my way through New York. I want to be able to stop through your spot, I think, you know, and. Um, that's it's got to happen. It probably be in the Aprilish time frame, late March, April. No warmer time frame, so I could wear cooler clothes. Um, oh, style is everything. Yeah, we we want to do May. Sounds good. Okay, we'll get my people in contact with you to iron out details. Uh, I'm supposed yeah. to be professional, and ask you some questions. Yeah, uh, go ahead. There's some questions people want to know. Um, this one is. Are there any people that resemble resemble Keebler elves that have a very interesting beard funding this advantageous endeavor? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I don't have any outside funding um, uh, from anyone, really. Uh, at this, how day. much is this costing? Let's see, travel. Travel probably fifteen thousand. Me and another, me and one other crew member probably, you know, flights and hotels, Airbnb, different stuff. Ten, ten to fifteen thousand once you, it's all totaled out. You go out to Seattle a few times, 
you know, pop over to New York. I think we're popping down to Florida a few times. Um, so the boogie, if you look at like the boogie, just a hard cost around 20,000. Oh, that's not too bad actually. Yeah. You know, and, and, but plus you have some time and labor, but I have, uh, you know, the person that helps me on this is full time. And I have some other, other people that pop on this full time or, you know, you know, for a few hours here and there that are full time on other things that I do. So it's and what cameras fun. will you be using? Like, so, are you going full anamorphic lenses, the whole nine yards to make the seam cinematic or what? Uh, it's the Sony FS, uh, a7S. A7S3. Uh, A7S3. A7S3 and maybe the Good A7S4. camera. Is that what we shot the most of the boogie dock on? Oh, uh, no A1, huh? No, I'm not that too camera tech, but you know, whenever there's new stuff coming, they, they kind of keep me up to speed on it. And, um, uh, yeah, so that's what we're shooting on. What lenses are you using? Uh, we have a few different sets or we rent, we rent different lenses. We have, uh, I think like different Canon lenses, a few Sony, Sony lenses, a few primes, a few 2470, uh, 7200. I do love primes for the sort of like more cinematic stuff. It's much sharper imagery. It's just a very beautiful lens. The zoom lenses, you know, the real run and gun sort of thing, I'm guessing. Yeah, like, when you well, need to. When we're running around, it's like we'll probably do some like a day in the life. We'll probably just spend the whole day with him. When he's Only one up. day. Oh, no, no. We'll spend, I'll probably be there for 10 days. Uh, or seven days or so for the first big shoot and then do a bunch of interviews, probably come back another time to fill maybe a, a few months after. But yeah, when you're going around and following around, a lot of that, that zoom stuff is helpful, you know, cause it's like, but when you're having those master shit down shots, yeah, the, the primes are the best. What are you going to do with like all the excess film? Because a lot of Phil's day seems like he's just sitting in that fucking dingy room. Um, I mean, extended scenes, exclusive clips. You might even see some content drop on the DSP gaming channel. I mean, would that be a mix up? I mean, well, it'd be the first time there's actual content on that fucking channel. I'm going to be real with you, Mike. Yeah. yeah. Like those would be the most watched things he ever fucking does. Yeah. Oh, we got another question in, uh, my dumb ass, uh, blah, blah, blah. We're going to skip that one. Skip that one. That's too fucking professional. What will you do if daddy Phil pulls out? Daddy Phil, I assume that's uh, Mr. Darkseid Phil. Uh, yeah, somebody in this chat calls him Daddy Phil every now and then. I find it fucking funny. Um, if he pulls out, I mean, listen, that's a risk. Any project, I guess, in this case, you would you would try to talk through it, come to a reasonable conclusion. But you know, the, but? it's it's been quite reasonable so far. He's a you know, I think uh, in my view, people uh, are obviously are a little can be a little harsh up on him on his willingness to do things, but he's, he's seen, he's engaging in good faith and it's, it's been a good collaboration. Well, that's probably because dark side Phil believes you can help him with something. Like we're all sort of opportunistic yeah. in social media. I think yeah. and DSP yeah. sees that like, this could be something that would help him. But Lord knows we've been down this road with Phil a billion times. Yeah. Like when he did the tweet on pro Jarrett and then did his exoneration stream where he talked for like two fucking hours to clear the air about what the trolls said about him. Yeah. And we had it again with side scrollers. You're round three. Yeah. And if this doesn't turn out the way Phil thinks, or if he believes you painted him in a bad light, or you might not even do that. Frankly, some of his fans could get in his ear, like, I don't know, fucking OIC or some shit. And then have Phil thinking, oh, Mike betrayed me. The documentary wasn't exactly what I thought. And he would turn on you in a heartbeat because that's the kind of guy he is. From my outside, you know, viewing. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's possible. I think I just try to handle myself professionally, be honest with what I'm filming, keep people in the loop with what I'm doing, um, and, and not pull any kind of, uh, you know, surprises or, or, or punches just to kind of get uh, to exploit. I mean, for me, I'm going to be hopefully doing this for a long time with a lot of different people that are some, some of them are controversial or interesting and, I have to handle myself in a certain way if I want to have a brand or a reputation that would have other people want to work with me. So all I can do is control how I'm engaging. And, um, you know, if, if, if something does go south, you know, it's unfortunate, but I, I don't, I really don't think it will. I mean, I, I, I think that I think I have a sense of Phil's past situations and what caused them to go negatively. 
and I can handle myself and, and still give people a, a product that is relevant uh, to like be entertaining. So if Phil backs out, will you still put it out? Uh, if he backs out, I mean, it, it defined in the, it, like Phil just goes, I'm done with you, Mike snort. You, Oh no, you motherfucker. Snort. I'd, I'd have to just, I'd have to evaluate the, the, the nature of how, what that would look like. And, you know, I, I'm going to be respectful of any collaborator. So if it, it was, I, I just have to like take a look at the situation at the time. I mean, I've done some other projects that that has happened and we don't put it out because it, in some ways it doesn't make sense for me to try to drop something that they, you know, we're not all feeling good about in some way on account that what does that say about me that I go in and, you know, that, that wouldn't be good look for me either. So, but I, you know, I'm going to engage in a way that I don't, I don't think he, I don't think he will. I, I think, um, um, there won't, it's not, there's going to be things in it that people are like, Oh shit, why did he let that stay in there? And I think that's just part of, documenting anybody's life there's a lot of things about anybody that that person wouldn't want in but i think he's agreed to be honest and in, in, in showing a lot now will you do dramatic reenactments of like moments of phil's life like when he got into a, almost got into a fight with jaha and he started crying in the parking lot there could certainly be uh those things i mean we're, we're getting ready to film kind of that first Thing. And I think you try to see what moments are the most juicy. I think we all know maybe one, but um, yeah, there will definitely be ways to bring certain things to life. Uh, but, um, and Jaha will be interviewed as well. So that would be cool. Yeah. That dude is ripped, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He is. I, you know, I, I might cry if I was going to fight him. I'd fucking take it. I've been beating up bad guys like that. Are you strong? You never... Are, you strong? Hmm? Are you ripped? No, I'm not ripped. I mean, I was before YouTube. Now I'm like, uh, I would say I'm looking like, uh, I guess, Alex from Street Fighter 4, the new release where he's like got muscular arms and shit, but he doesn't quite have that ab section yet. And he's dying to get it back because the ladies love it. What would ever, would you ever do a face reveal? I've done tons of face reveals. Really? Yeah, dude. Where are they at? Uh, they've been all over the internet. Oh, really? But usually people keep using the old bad dad bits I used to do before YouTube made me take those down for transphobia. Technically, it wasn't a transphobic joke. <laughs> I said that Gregory Gorgeous was a beautiful woman. But those are like years old, and I was playing a character, but who gives a fuck about that? It's a Gundam face reveal and Chuchki. This is you. Chutsky. Oh, Chuchi. Chuchi. Uh, that's an old one. That's your dog. By the way, here's another question. Oh, wait, this is pretty much the same way. Now nah, let's move that one. What um, documentaries do you have after the Dark Side Phil one? Like, what brought you to the Law Cows? Are you sticking around with Law Cows afterwards? Or, you know, what's next on the docket after Phil? Well, I have. I. I'll say this. I have some other ones. I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed by. Okay. I think. Give us some hints. Give us I some tips. Can't, I can't. Um, I can't Is it Dylan Mulvaney? I, I, I actually did email uh, their management. Um, but because uh, that would have been fascinating. But um, no, but I will say this. If you like Boogie and you think you're going to like Phil, you will not be disappointed with uh, at least the next two of them. So, but the goal is four. So it's Christian. I I can't comment specifically at this point, but I oh, just, diaper chew. I I can't comment. I can't comment, but I just don't think you're going to be disappointed if if you're liking the vein so far. And for me, it you know I don't. I'm not going to claim that I was some big like lol cow guy that was. It just happened to be. The, the lane, I think when I was starting the channel, I was reaching out. I, I wanted to do documentaries that was in partnership with the person. And I was reaching out in the early days. I was going for, you know, I'm into hip hop. I'm into sort of just general internet culture, whatever. Boogie was the one that kind of got going the quickest. And therefore, that's uh, 
and it just happened to do well. So I was like, all right, well, let's try to kind of stay in this lane for now uh, before you can maybe take take that step. But I'll just say this, four docs or at least three docs this year, if you like Boogie and you think Dark Side Phil is interesting, you will not be disappointed with the other two. Long as we get some like dirt on Phil, that's all I care about. Like if you catch some funny stuff, like I don't know, Phil cat picking his nose throughout the day, and you turn into a, like a montage. Oh, the Phil like that montage. Okay, that, that that could very well happen. Listen, I think Phil is gonna give access. You should steal his wheel and then pretend okay. that black people in Seattle did it because he'll believe that story. And then you film him trying to put a, a wheel back on the uh, what the fuck does he drive? A Hyundai Sonata or some shit. I don't recall, but yeah. A Corolla. Yeah. Is there any more questions left? Let me ask my program director. Did I miss anything? Good Lord. Uh, no. I, I believe we've got just about everything. All right. If you have any questions for me, feel free. If you want to run out of here, it'd be a smart move. This is definitely a career downgrade for you. Next to DSP. Yeah, you know, I was up here, but honestly, I've elevated. Uh, and I, I want, I will email you about, I know you're a busy guy. Listen, this guy, he does his own writing, editing, planning. He's a busy guy. So I do appreciate huh. you having me coming on and, and getting yelled at by sponsors right before you were on. I love those emails. Yeah. You're your own your business editing, creative. A busy I'm a guy. professional piece of shit. Professional POS. Yeah. Point of sale. So, guys, support this guy. I'll do some e-bagging for you. Support this guy with a tip. Support <laughs> this guy with a membership. Um, you know, um, super chats. Anything uh, throw, helps. Anything throw, helps. Throw so, a like in the comments. A dollar. Even if you have a dollar, give him a dollar. Okay? When we reach 100 likes, I'll blow some bubbles. Did we hit 100? How There's 4,700 yeah, 4, people we're in here. About 3,000 likes right now. So we, we have got 3, a lot 000. of bubbles to blow. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to smoke weed and I'll do a puff for 3,000 puffs. How much is that? That's a lot. Will I die? My assistant isn't even speaking to me. Don't worry about it. If, God bless you, Mike. Thank you, sir. I will, I'll contact you. Please be available for an interview. We would love, the people would love to see you and we'd love to make you some money. They're going to see you in the film and then they're going to go to your channel. Oh, man. It'll be the first time people came to my channel not to write YouTube about hate speech. Well, thank you for having me on, and I hope to see you in February or April time frame. Sounds like a plan. All right. Godspeed. Thank you. My arms don't work, so I'm waving.